Cave System Part 2. So now we need to connect to our database. We're going to be using my SQL PDO for this example. PDO means PHP Data Object. If you don't know what that is, it's okay. Just follow far. So let's set up a connection. Localhost. By default on local development, your username is root. And the password is. So now let's connect. Localhost. Database name. Remember it was tutorials. I showed you that in the first video. We need a username and a password. Okay, this will connect us to our database. Let's see if we've gotten any errors. You know? Okay, there's no errors, so that's good. So, now let's make a query that will get all of our data based on what the user put in our search box. So query, select all from ran numbers. That's our table name, remember? Where number, that's the column with numbers. And for our example, let's just say find all numbers greater than uh, the value. That's going to be, we got to bind this to our post value. So now let's continue running this query. Prepare query. Now we can bind the variable. Post, and what was it? Search number er. Okay, so now we can execute it like this. This is the safest way to run a query that prevents any sort of trickery or, you know, injection stuff. Okay, so now what we have so far is a connection, and then we have a query. So now let's output our data. And the best way that I've found to output data when you're paging especially is to put it into just a simple HTML table. A lot of people don't like tables. I don't really care. They work just fine for me. So let's do it. Table, let's give it a border for good measure. Right? Now we'll close our table. Now, let's output our data in a loop like this. Row, that contains the query data that we just ran. Fetch, uh, what? Okay, so now if we simply just say echo start a row and then a cell and then echo the row that has the number and then whoops close the cell, close the row. Now 
let's save it, and this should give us every number greater than whatever the user inputs. So let's see if that's right. Let's just put one. There we go. That should be all of our rows, and it looks like it. So good job. Now this should find nothing, right? Okay, cool. So, let's say this is all of the data on your web page. We need a way using PHP to count how many rows there are. This is the first step when paging your data. And the best way I've found to do this, I've been looking for a long time, is for each row outputted, add it into a class like this. Simple. So now the amount of objects in row is how many rows we have. That's going to be really useful. It's going to be really, really useful. Okay, so now let's get into the other side of this problem.